you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the two views that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric production these views are in first angle production meaning that this is the front elevation and this is the plan so whenever you see this kind of symbol on a given diagram you should know that it is in first angle projection now the first thing i'm going to do is to draw my isometric axis in this fashion you draw your y axis this way you can see that then make it more visible and you draw your z axis this way and the x axis this way the x axis this way you can see that now you get the length you can see you get the length from the elevation and the length given here is given to be what 150 so i am going to measure 150 that is from 0 to 15 to give us 150 so I'm going to measure my 150 here. So let me start from this point here, from 1. So if I start from 1, meaning that I will end at 16. So if I start from 0, I will end at 15. So since I'm starting from 1, I will be ending at what? 16. So 0 to 15 is 150. Or 1 to 16, any of the two. Now, at this side here, the width, you get the width from the plan, and that's given to be what? 100. So I'm going to measure 100 from this point here to 100 to 10, given to be what? 100. You can see that? And the height, you get the height from the elevation also. This is 40 plus 65, that is 105. And you measure 105 from this point here, from 0 to 105. So this is 100, 105 is here. Hope you can see that now you bring out a box from this figure here so bring out a box from this figure so if i come here i'll have this this way all right and now come here also i'll have this this way hope you can see that then i'm going to close it up this way And I'll close it up too, this way. Then come here also, do the same thing here too, this way. Then close it up too, this way. Hope you can see that. So I have successfully bring out this box out right now it's for me to start carving out my images out so the first one is if you look at the elevation they're telling making us understand that the point a is here and that is what my point a meaning that my measurement will start from here as <coughs> i have done so this is my point a here so meaning the thing will be facing this direction here so let's see the height from here to here is given to be what? 40. So 0 to 40. Hope you can see that. Now the next one is I am going to measure from here to the ending. From this point 40, touching the ending of this line here. So I'm going to take in that too. This way. On this point, I'll just draw it this way. All together. Now, the next one is I'll bring it down to at the ending this point here. So, let's take it down. Can you see that? So, this end here. Is that end you see here so i'm going to measure the thickness 
from that point. So how I'm going to know from here to here, give me to be what, 20, as you can see. So I'm going to measure 20 from here at both ends. So from zero to 20, which is 20 here, and also from zero to 20, which is 20 here. I just have to take in it straight ahead just to save our time. I'll come here too, I'll take in it straight ahead to save our time. And I'll pick it up with faint line first. Right? I'll take it up with what? With faint line first. With faint line first here. And the height also is given to be what? 20 half of 40 30 king because if you look at from here to here it's something the same from here to here so it is 40 half of 40 which is 20 i'm going to measure 20 here from zero to two is 20 so i'm going to take it out All right and i'm going to close it up here As you can see by the diagram, the elevation, and I'll close it up to this way. And this point here, right? And I should be able to take this inward too, this way. Can you see that? And we're not done yet. You see this you see that it's standing up i cannot just draw it on this line here because the plan is telling me that what it is centralized you can look at the plan telling me that this block you're seeing this block from here to here is from here to here and it's based centrally that is it is not touching the end here so you cannot draw it on this line here so what we'll just do is we'll come back to the plan and we're going to connect from here to here on from the plan this way hope you can see that and also this point too. So we can see that and this point too. Hope so you can see that. And this point too. I have to be very careful. Use faint line first. And also use faint line here too can you see that now if you look at this now that given figure here to get to the center of this figure is telling us what our measure 64 so two things i'm going to do here i need to get the center of this figure how can i get the center of this figure is by joining the diagonals if i join the diagonal from here to here look at what i'm doing i'll just try and add this way I'll come in also doing diagonal from here this way. I'll strike and add this way. So that will be the that is half of from here to here is hundred, so half is what fifty. So if I don't draw a line this way, just a faint line this way. So meaning that I'll measure sixty four. This is four you're seeing here. I'm going to measure it on that line. Is that okay now? So if I measure sixty four from that line, this is what I'll have. So take 64 from 0 to 64 is here. So that to be the center of that figure there. So I'll just put it this way. So I'll just draw my center a line this way. I have my reason. So this is where we are at this point here. So what I will now do next here is I will draw a center line up to this way. Can you see that? This is my line I'm drawing here. So from that line, I'm going to measure a height of what? 65. Height of what? 65, which is the same thing as from this point. I'll measure height of 65 from 0. 65 is here. 
can you see that so on that point i'll do another cross there so i'll draw a line this way paint line and i'll do another one again this way paint line hope you can see that so i will now measure you can see that we're giving 75 the square in front of 75 here meaning that it is a square the length the breadth everything is what 75 of this figure here so i'm going to measure 75 on my meter with this way from 0 to 75 you can see that so half of 75 is what 37.5 so i'll just proceed this way take half of it 35 36 37.5 somewhere around there can you see that and i'll place it at this point here I'll place it at this point here and I'm going to mark 35 here 35 here 35 here 37.5 sorry and 37.5 here so I'll make it form a box so what I'm doing so I'll just draw a line this way on that point from here I'll draw a line this way and from here, I'll draw another line this way. Then I'll now close it up to form my box from this point. So from here, I'll move it from this point straight down to touch here. And from that same line too, move it from here straight down here. And I'll close it up from here. I'm taking this. Now come here to a green top of the case. Hope you can see that. So doing that is I can easily take this downward this way. Just bring this down. This one, you bring it down. And this one, you bring it down. Faint line. So and this one too, you bring it down. With this, you bring it down. This is where they're all meeting. So I'll draw my line to pass through those points. Draw my line to pass through those points. Which I am going to what? Ticking. That again? Which I'm going to tick in so where it meets here. I'll just tick in it, right? Similarly, where it meets here, I will not go to that extent. I'll just draw a vertical line this way. Can you see that? So, meaning I'm ticking in just from this point. To this point then i'll bring this down from here to here i'll bring it down from here to here then this down from here straight down to this point to here right and so we'll just move this to it goes out this way. Touch here. Close here this way. Touch here. Because this figure here will not touch. This figure here will block this line here, so you can easily see that at that point. So that is for that guy. Now there's a square also inside also. It's true. Is that the king? And we have 50 in front of it. Is that the king? So that square in front of it means that everything there is what? 50 millimeter. So I'll just measure half of 50, which is 25, from 0 to 25. And I'll place it at this point. So I'll measure 25 here, 25 here. 25 here, 25 here. 
So now do the same thing I did for the previous one. Just take this front line, take this front line, and you close it up. Come here too, close it up. Come here too, close it up. Here also, close it up. Can you see that? And you bring it down. Hope you can see that. We have successfully reproduced the figure you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Now, another important thing is before I proceed, you have to take your time and like the video and um, subscribe to the channel and also you share. So the most important thing is for you to do the dimension. In most cases, I've been told to draw the dimension for them. So doing the dimension, let me just do this. We have this, you just draw a line at this point. Come here also, you draw at this point. Ensure your line is not touching the figure. And you draw this. What I can see here is this guy is going out from this way. The other way of doing the dimensioning is that again. So we have this very sharp and this very sharp. So I put my 20 here. Oh, good. And similarly, I can just come from this point here. We'll do this 150. So I can still just bring this down a little bit. And here down a little bit. And connect from this point to this point. So from this point here to this point here is what? 100 and what? 150. Hope you can see that. And what else again do we have? Here, from this point here, we have we have uh, you can do it any way I want to do it. So from here, I can come here. Here also come here. At this point too, I can come here. Then here too, come here. And close this up, close it up, and I'll have this. This is diameter 50, this is diameter, this is um, the square, no diameter 75. So you do that. Right, then after that, we have 100 here. So I can just bring it down. And just move this one here to here. So this is what we have. So if you found this video helpful, you can do the rest yourself. So if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video.